In this tutorial I will show you how to add inventory. There are four interfaces by which you can do this. Option number one, under quick access heading you will find an icon named add inventory. If you click on it, then it will add inventory for you. Option number two, in the toolbar you will see this image, and if you hover your mouse on it, then it says add new batch. If you click on it, then it will add inventory for you. Option number three, if you click on the inventory button up here, drop down menu will appear and you can add inventory by clicking over here. Option number four, go to inventory management module and click on the button add new and then it will add inventory. Now let's talk about how to add inventory. Stock code means unique code of your product's stock. If you don't check this box then you will have to write code yourself. Otherwise software will generate it for you. If you check the box show as POS button then a button of this product will be made available in POS module. You can leave the product field empty. If you click on search button, you will be provided with a list of products from which you have to select one of the products by double clicking on it as written here. Now you will have to enter stock details. In this field we can either select add new stock or update previous one. If you check the box has expiry it means that your product has an expiry date and if you don't check on it, then it means that your product has no expiry date. Next you will have to add the batch number and storage location of your product. Purchase unit cost is the price at which you bought the product from your vendor. Sale price has two options. With tax and without tax. Which you can select according to your requirement. In discount field, you will enter the discount you are offering, put zero if you are not offering any discount. In quantity field, you will add the current quantity and sub quantity of your product for this particular stock. Remember, this can be different for different stocks of same product. Reorder level is the quantity that if the stock reaches below it, automatically a purchase order will be generated. Reorder quantity is the quantity of which the purchase order will be generated. In the vendor field add the vendor from whom you bought the product. If there is a new vendor, you can also add by clicking on this button. Now click on add button and a message will show up saying that stock has been added successfully. Now, you will see that a new row has been added over here which says that the product with this code has two stocks. One with this stock code and another with this stock code.